some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh boy, Eric, really, really fascinating stuff. It's really fascinating how you use the same arguments over and over again and fail continuously to prove anything in court. And with jury selection coming up, you've got all sorts of decisions to make that an attorney would have to make. And, uh, well, uh, you don't seem to be mentally capable or anything like that of making those decisions or even representing yourself. Maybe you should take some advice and actually get yourself an attorney. Otherwise, there will be so many more fails in your future. So, yeah, this that should be fun. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. State of Michigan versus Eric Martin, case number 23S00425. We got for the people. This is Public Defender Sandra White as standby counsel. Thank you. So can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. All right. We're here for a final settlement conference today. <laughs> and where are we with this matter, please? Your Honor, I believe that we were um, previously ready to proceed actually directly to jury selection, but I think that it may have been set for final settlement. Mr. Martin had some other matters in some other courts. Well, no shit. Of course he does. He's a boat-headed softard who believes that the laws don't apply to him or has a bastardized uh, version of him anyway. And I don't I know if he missed a date or something in there that had it. So. I, I'm not sure how he got put on for final settlement conference. It was supposed to go directly to jury selection, but um, we're here. Um, Mr. Martin, you're yeah. still requesting a jury trial in this matter, sir? Yep. All right. We already have it scheduled for jury selection on August 9th at 8.30 a.m. Get through right now. Um, something new I'm going to say is I'm going to demand uh, the appointment of counsel, even though I know you already had him in standby. I always uh, was refuse, refusing him, but since uh, it's being fraudulently assumed I'm the defendant anyways, along with the, all, all the other uh, fraudulent presumptions, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the lawyer. But again, I'm not agreeing to no fraudulent presumptions that may normally attach to that. You whine and cry and complain about your due process being violated and everything like that. But every step that they take to help you with your due process, you reject. So which is it? Either you are a, a complete imbecile who uh, doesn't understand the due process to begin with, or they are not actually violating your due process because they seem to be trying to help you out at every step of the way. In this case, I would say both of them are perfect in this scenario for this glue-huffing solvetard. Such as, I'm a defendant, I'm a ward of the court, etc., etc. I can go on and on, but... Uh... I hate to interrupt so soon after my previous uh, uh, commentary, but did you say you're a ward of the court? Are you such an invalid that you are unable to take care of yourself? Do you need diaper changes? Do you need uh, somebody to come over and change your diapers for you? I mean, it seems like the uh, logical thing right here. I mean, you say you're the w a ward of the court, so obviously you, uh, you must be... Uh, pissing in your pants all the time. Not only that, you seem to lack the uh, cognitive ability to uh, dress yourself properly. I mean, who dresses you anyway? I mean, surely it uh, has to be somebody that has better a better sense of style than you do. You know, under Canon Law 3228, for example, and etc. But, uh, so yeah, I want to make that clear on that. Um, and also, there is some pretrial... Demands to dismiss I made that haven't been ruled on yet. They should be because they're, you know, pre-trial. There's, there's matters of law, so they should be ruled on before trial. And, uh... I, uh I'm sorry, Your Honor, I wasn't trying to interrupt, but I, I, um, I just wanted to thank Mr. Martin for that update and to say that his counsel, that is, he's now requesting if the court chooses to appoint them, um, formally to this case, we'll be probably happy to assist with all those things because we have to do jury selection, I mean, instructions, and I was going to ask how I needed to communicate about it. Oh, and with respect to any pretrial matters, this court did make a ruling on the record, and I have a written um, 
I wrote it down in my notes here as to each ruling I made on each of the issues. So that has been addressed. If you are expecting counsel to be appointed, sir, at this point in time, then I will do that. And after that point, you will no longer be able to speak on your own behalf. You understand that? No, I do not understand. I do not agree with that. That is that is totally violation of my due process rights. I object to that. How is that a violation of your uh, due process, dude? Because if you hire somebody to represent uh, you, you are essentially giving control over the argument over to them. They speak on your behalf and they will try to defend you in this scenario. So maybe you should uh, relinquish control and let the lawyer do his thing. The man who has actually, uh, uh, well, spent a, a decade or so in law school to uh, get to this point where he can represent people and speak coherently and speak truthfully about the law, rather than a uh, soft hard like yourself who's been spending so much time huffing paint fumes in a basement somewhere, thinking that he's a constitutional law scholar or something like that. Regardless of what the council may say, I still have the constitutional right to say what I want to say is a First Amendment right. So if you're going to say I must accept counsel uh, in order, and must violate, you know, with the condition that I must violate my own constitutional right to speak when I want to, and have a right to speak, then I'm not accepting it. But uh, that is your choice, sir. So what, what's it going to be? Are you going to tell me? Are you still going to stick with I that, was or what? Clear on what I said. Okay. Well, I'm going to forget. Then uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to change my mind on that. Then if uh, I'm going to violate my own constitution right to speak. All right. And then, uh, As you go through the jury selection process in any of these processes, you will be held to the same standard as any other attorney in the case, because that is what the law and the court rules require. So if you're in violation of those rules, sir, then what is going to happen is you will be held in contempt of court like any other individual would if you are not, in fact, following the rules of court. Do you understand, sir? Objection. That violates the Supreme Court case law. Um think of the name of it right now um but i have read it before years ago that non-official attorneys are not to be held to the same standards as attorneys pathetic well dude you kind of shot yourself in the foot right here considering that you said you read it years ago but you don't remember where you read it at so you don't really have a citation for it so therefore it really doesn't matter in this particular scenario. No citation, no proof of what the uh, Supreme Court said, and therefore the argument is really invalid, dude. So really, really pathetic fail on your part. Mr. Martin, that Thank is you. not the law again, and I have told you what is going to happen. So I will see you here on August 9th. At 8.30 a.m., prepare to go to trial. See you then. Have a good day. Your Honor, I'm sorry. I do, I do just have one quick question. I, he, can, he can be gone. He's gone. Um, but I just need to ask the court, um, because we have to submit the jury instructions and et cetera, I don't have email contact information from Mr. Martin. I don't know if he uses email. So I can submit that to the court, and I guess. He has standby counsel. So submit okay. it to the counsel. We'll do. Bond is continuing. Oh boy, Eric, really, really fascinating stuff. It's really fascinating how you use the same arguments over and over again and fail continuously to prove anything in court. And with jury selection coming up, you've got all sorts of decisions to make that an attorney would have to make. And, uh, well, uh, you don't seem to be mentally capable or anything like that of making those decisions or even representing yourself. Maybe you should take some advice and actually get yourself an attorney. Otherwise, there will be so many more fails in your future. So, yeah, this that should be fun. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. <laughs>
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?